Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to disavow links using Google Webmaster Tools. So right now, we're actually at their main disavow links page. Uh, the link is below this video. And they'll let you pick from uh, the different websites that you already have uh, set up in your Google Webmaster Tools. So you wanna make sure to do that. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, you might wanna watch another video beforehand. But So since this is actually a, a, a website that we have in our Google Webmaster Tools, um, and you click on the link below the video, you'll come here, select the one you want. I'm gonna click disavow links. And then that's gonna take you to like a warning page of, hey, disavowing links is an important, crazy thing, so you need to know what you're doing. So it has you click disavow links once again. So what I usually recommend is that you contact all the people that you can, that you would you want to remove links from if they don't respond then this is the step that you go to so I'm gonna click on disavow links because I contacted everybody um, now what you'll see is um, we actually submitted back in June a list of five URLs to disavow so I've already downloaded that list because uh, you can only submit one list so I added those links along with the new links that we want to disavow and so um, here's a couple things the first thing is we have what's called a, a link removal contact sheet. And we went through and we contacted everybody and we figured out which links we wanted to remove, contacted them, some of them removed them, some of them didn't. So the ones that are left over, we put into a text file. So I just used Notepad on uh, Windows, it's just a standard program. And I copied and pasted all of the links individually into the Notepad. And then I'm gonna save it um, for our purposes. I'm just gonna save it as the client's uh, name, plus disavow and then once you save I'm saving it to the desk, desktop so I can access it easily um, I'm gonna go back to Google Webmaster Tools and I'm gonna choose file go to my my desktop and there's the file right there and then I'm gonna hit submit submitting this file will override the existing file so let's what we wanted to do because we had five in there previously. So now we're adding to those five. And now it's saying we've submitted 16. So we had 11 URLs that we just added plus the five at 16. And so now I just click done. And we have successfully uh, told Google, please disavow these links. Um, so hopefully in the next update, um, our client will see a positive increase in their rankings because of this. So uh, this tutorial was how to disavow links in Google Webmaster Tools, and I hope you found it helpful.